What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Spray It On. And today, I want to hit y'all with five fragrances that I believe are signature scent worthy, but also worthy of getting you a compliment here and there. So, if you want to see what made a list, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. By the way, these are not ranked in any particular order. So, without further ado, we're going to start off with number five. And this is Signature Royale X from the House of Zaharoff. This is nice. I spoke about this having a duality in my other videos between clean and dirty, but not to scare you off, but it has this musky nature about it in the base as it starts to dry down, which gives it a sexy appeal to it. But it's, like I said, it's clean initially, so you get that versatility to where it can be a somewhat signature scent. You could definitely wear this to work, to a date, out and about. I mean, you could throw this on whenever, really. And you'll have this mass appeal about you, but also the sex appeal about you. Best of both worlds. So if you're interested in that, Check out Signature Royale X from Zaharoff. At number four on the list, we have something from the house of Dua, and this is Bois Supernova. Cool little bottle. So this is their hybrid, meaning two fragrances put together. This is their hybrid of Tom Ford's Oud Wood and Roja Dove's Elysium. So what this does is it lightens up oud wood. It makes it even more versatile because Elysium, if you know already, is already a super versatile fragrance. So if you add some of that freshness to the woodiness and put it together, it works. This actually was my scent for today. And this is nice, man. I've gotten plenty of compliments on this. It's woody, it's like, it's masculine. It has this woody backbone to it, but it also has this freshness up top. And this, it's not super effervescent. It's not super bright and like, Juicy in your face, but I don't know the citruses are think of like citrus juice squeezed on top of the woods. So it's kind of soaked into the woods. It's not super bright anymore, but you can still tell some citrus there. That's the best way I describe this. You see how much I've worn and I got a lot of fragrances. So this little dent is a lot in all actuality. But anyways, that's enough of that. If that made you interested, you should check out Bois Supernova from Dua. Number three on my list, this is from the house of Initio Parfums, and this is Musk Therapy. Love this bottle, man. This is my only Initio in my collection. I'm looking to get some more, but this is what we're talking about for now. This is an interesting fragrance. It's definitely very, it's very likable for sure. But the musk that they use in here isn't a sharp one or um, an animalic one like this one. No. Not at all. This is a very clean, soft, and supple musk even. This is, yeah, it's not aggressive at all. It's kind of like, this makes me think of like a second skin. And it kind of has this vanilla nature to it and also this floral nature too. So this definitely signature scent worthy. Nobody's gonna be mad at you for smelling like this. I mean, you smell lovely. This is how I would describe this fragrance, lovely. Get a sample if you can, because this stuff ain't cheap. This is Initials Must Therapy. At number two on the list, we have something from the House of Mancera, and this is Cedre Bois, Cedre Boise, whatever, whatever. This is, this falls in the realm of Creed Aventus, but does its own thing. I always describe this as fruity pebbles and leather. I need to come up with something new, because I'm always hitting y'all with that, but truthfully, that's what it sounds, that's what it smells like to me. You get this fruitiness up top. There's these kind of citruses, but also kind of has this pineapple feel that Aventus has as well. But instead of the birch and Aventus, you get leather in this, which is, I don't know, you can call it the grounding factor. And the base that just rounds the fragrance off. And this, it just smells nice. You can wear this anytime. And I mean that. <laughs> so check out Cedre Bois from Ansara. And last but certainly not least, we have a fragrance from the house of Navitas Parfums. And this is from Big Beer Business's second collection with them. And this is The Key. Love this bottle, by the way. Blue is my favorite color, fun fact. So, this is a fresh fragrance with some body to it, for sure. I, you know, some fresh fragrances, you, you could put like 10 plus sprays on and, you know, get away with it because you just smell so fresh and light and ever fessing and, you know, just, so clean, right? I don't recommend doing 10 sprays of this because like I said, this has some body to it. They took it in a different direction. Once you start to get to the base, you got some vetiver, some tonkin bean. I think there's some sandalwood in here too. And it, it might even be some patchouli in here, I think. I might be wrong, but 
like I said, this has some body. You get some citruses up top. You get some ginger in the mid. And then you also get this gin fizz accord, which makes this fragrance kind of creamy. Gin fizz, if you don't know, was a drink. So, yeah, this is nice. You could wear it. I mean, you could wear all of these anytime. But, yeah, this is definitely going to get some wear out of me, especially as it starts to heat up as well. This is the key from Navis' Parfums. All right, y'all, that's it. Those are five fragrances that are signature scent worthy in my collection, but also worthy of getting you some good attention by way of compliments. And we all like some good attention here and there. So, hey, if any of these fragrances interested you, I recommend getting a sample. I don't recommend blind buying anything because that's bad for your health and your wallet. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see next. And let me know what you will wear for signature scents um, for Anytime, I guess. But anyways, you already know what time it is. I'm your boy, Mr. Sprayed On, signing off.